Remember, KPSP Local 2, CBS for the Coachella Valley. From the KPSP Local 2 studios, this is the Valley's premier arts and entertainment program. KPSP Local 2's Eye on the Desert. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on Eye on the Desert. I'm your host, Patrick Evans. We're delighted to have you along with us on this Saturday evening. And we've got a terrific show for you from great music and musical events that you can attend. We're going to be telling you about uh, a fantastic film that is celebrating 40 years. You'll meet one of the stars of that movie. We also have some authors in to celebrate the Palm Springs Book Festival, which is coming up tomorrow. All that and more. But first tonight, with the Book Festival fast approaching, I thought it was appropriate to have a couple of authors on. First with me is Christopher Bay who is here this evening, uh, author of some terrific travel books, especially focusing on Cuba, soon to come out with Palm Springs, a complete destination guide, great destinations. You've been working on this for a while. We met last fall, and you were uh, kind of finishing up the book. Tell me a little bit about the, this particular book on Palm Springs and the work you've done on it. Well, this guidebook will be out in June, and it's a complete destination guide, everything from Anza Borrego up to Joshua Tree, where to eat, where to stay, where to have fun. It sounds like you have fun researching your books because that would be a fun thing to do, find out all those places. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Patrick, it, it's not a job, it's not work. Saturday night at midnight and I'm at my computer, I love it. But it's out on the road that I really have. Uh, and you take all, all of the pictures that you use in your books? I take most of them myself, yeah. Yeah. And so you, you are you're very well balanced uh, with, with the written word and, and the visual media as well. I try. <laughs> now, tell me a little bit, this is a book called Mimoto Fidel, and it's motorcycling through Castro's Cuba. And uh, you've done a lot of books on Cuba. I How have. did you fall in love with Cuba? Well, I'll hold that up so they can It's get difficult not to fall in love with Cuba. The place is uh, eccentric, it's full of eroticism and enigma. It's totally different, you know, it's capitalism, colonialism, communism, uh, surreal place. It Wonderful. isn't. It's a very different place, and of course, with the embargo, most people don't ever have a chance to go there. Journalists can get a special uh, dispensation True. to travel there. Uh, how many times have you been to Cuba? Oh, gosh, 30-odd times, and I'll be there in two weeks. Time. Wow. A and what's your next book on Cuba? Oh, well, actually, I'm doing a coffee table book on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> there was a picture. We, I have dachshunds home. My wife and I have dachshunds. Uh -huh. There's this great picture. I, I think I have to show this on TV if I can get you it. Know, the, the Jason, Cuban, you got to get a shot of this. This is a Cuban dachshund. The Cubans love their dogs. They do. They really do. You know, the hardships that they have in Cuba, it's, it's amazing. They look after their dogs. They love them. Do you think things will change now that uh, Castro is gone and his well, Raul is taking over? I'm following what Raul's doing very closely. He's introducing a lot of reforms. I'm very hopeful. Well, they're beautiful books. Here's another one, Cuba Classics. Do you find that there's a lot of history preserved there? It's kind of frozen in time in Patrick, some ways. it is fantastic. The colonial cities, and then, of course, look at the cars. One in six cars in Cuba is pre-revolution. Where can folks pick up your Palm Springs Destination Guidebook when it comes out in June? Uh, it should be wherever books are sold. And then I have my website, which is travelguidebooks.com, where you can pick up these two, and uh, I'll send a signed copy to all the viewers. Thank you. <laughs> travelguidebooks.com. We'll put a link on our website, cbstv2.com. Christopher, thank you so much for coming on. Patrick, it's a pleasure. We've been talking about it for a while. It's nice to have I'm you on the show. I'm glad it happened. Thank okay, you. Okay, very good.